Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Chef Ramsay's Four Cheese Macaroni. I'm going to go with a simple one. Uh, it is 10.25 ounces or 291 grams and it's by Chef Gordon. So I'm expecting high quality meals because he's really about the quality, right? Uh, this was bought at Walmart. It was $5.94, a little on the half side as far as expense goes for that size meal, but we'll, we'll see if it's worth it. Um, one bowl is 530 calories. There's your other information. It says a decadent cheese blend of mozzarella, fentina, um, parmesan, and provolone tossed with al dente pasta topped with golden cornbread crumbs. Let's see if the cornbread crumbs make a difference because I know bread crumbs get soggy. Let's see if cornbread makes a little difference. Um, so microwave, lift the, and that's the only directions on here. Lift the film on the ball to slightly vent. Place the ball in the microwave and cook for four and a half to five and a half minutes until the center of the dish reaches 165 degrees. Get your thermometers out. Um, carefully remove ball and let it stand for one to two minutes and the contents will be hot. I'm gonna go in the middle. I'll just do five minutes um, and we'll see how it is. No pull tabs. So for $6, I couldn't put pull tabs on there. There it is. Oh, you can see the cornbread. Yeah, little hunks of cornbread on there. So I'm just gonna pull this little tab right here and vent it. And I get it in the microwave uh, for five minutes and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I have not touched it yet. I haven't stirred it or anything. It has set for like a minute and a half or so. Cheese smells really good. I see some of the cornbread pieces are like dried up. That pasta kind of stuck together right, right there. You can kind of see it's all big clump. So I'm surprised they don't have you stir it in the middle of the bake time. It would keep it from getting all stuck together like that. So would you send that out to your customers, Gordon Ramsay? Would you? Would you send that out to your customers? No. Um, so anyway, that is not what you want from Gordon Ramsay's kitchen right there, that big clump. I kind of like the burnt cheese myself, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's full of cheese sauce. I do have to say that. So I'm going to take this over to the table. Uh, yeah, the only part that's bad is that part. I think it's more the cheese got uh, kind of scorched right there. Anyway, I'll pull it apart at the table because I like scorched cheese. Anyway, we'll be right back. Hey, I gave it just a minute to cool off. I pulled the, that one piece that apart a little bit more. You can tell this is actual cheese. Look, it's got some stringy cheese hanging down below. You would never get that with like a, a box macaroni and cheese with a powder. You wouldn't get that because it's not cheese. Um, it's cheese powder. It definitely feels texture-wise like an actual cheese with real cheese. I mean, it has that kind of that chewy texture that you get with real cheese. Um, and it's a really good cheese sauce. So it's uh, it's got a little bit of sauce mixed with actual cheese. So you get that texture. I, I like that and it's, and it's very creamy from the sauce. The pasta cooked really well. Some of the pasta on the very edges is a little tough. Um, tough and chewy because it dried out because they don't have you stir it um, anywhere while it's cooking so you get those little dried pieces on the edges if they got you to stir it like halfway through or even two-thirds of the way through I think it would pull some of that away from the edges and um, not let it scorch or get dried out here's some with some cornbread pieces I'm curious they are not crispy anymore they are soggy I won't say soggy they're you you don't you don't notice they're even there. Um, they don't have a good like grainy cornbread texture. They don't have a crunch to them or anything like that. So they they are definitely softer. Overall, I really do like the flavor. I'm gonna try one of those ones that I had to pull apart. Yeah. It's just where the cheese kind of, um, I won't even say scorched, it just kind of, uh, um, well, it got a little scorched on the edges and it kind of clumped up and hardened, the cheese did, so it stuck the, the noodles together. I like that flavor personally, but um, if you don't, if you just like all creamy macaroni, um, you might like those pieces. Mm. Yeah, see, I like those, hold on. I like the browner, piece of cheese like that. I like that flavor. Overall, I think it's a good flavor. I like the mixture of cheeses, you really do. Um, I'm one that's really bad about tasting cheese in meals. 
macaroni and cheese is usually different because there's so much in it. But um, I think this is good. I really do think it's a, it's a good meal. It has a really good flavor to it. Um, there's some issues I think they could fix with some change of the directions, maybe stirring it two thirds of the way through, maybe put it in for maybe three minutes and then stir it and then do another two minutes. That might fix that problem with it drying out on the edges. Um, again, the uh, cornbread pieces aren't crunchy at all. Um, I don't even know that they're in here. Don't get the flavor, don't get the texture. It could have been left out completely as far as I'm concerned. Um, Maybe if they put a little uh, bacon in there or something, it would have elevated the flavors up beyond just cheese. But overall, it's pretty good. You know, you have to give Gordon Ramsay, if he's gonna put his name on something, you gotta give him a hard time a little bit if it's not perfect, because he's all about perfection, right? And this is not perfect, it's not. I do really, really like the flavors though. Um, that being said, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I really do like it. Uh, if I made this again, I would do the stir in the middle, even though it doesn't say to do that. Um, I would give it a stir after three minutes and then put it back in there for two, and, and it would be better, I think. You wouldn't get that dried up edges. So, um, so yeah, I think it's a really good flavor, and I, and I like that the cheese has got an actual flavor to it and a really good texture. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.